Good guys, your boy Weez. And welcome back to our channel. Alright guys, so we at Michelle, what's the name of the spot we at, Michelle? We smoke. Huh? We smoke. So we at We Smoke. It's a black owned. Michelle, tell us, tell us about this shit. We have my twin brother. Y'all, he don't be in a lot of lives, man. Michelle, but tell me where we at, man. We smoke. Now tell us about We Smoke, man. Alright, black owned cigar spot. Bring here at your Alpha Square. Okay. Alright, so we're back going inside the cigar shop. I know we normally do spears and stuff but it's still black on and maybe you can get you a learn something about cigars that you can pair with your whiskey your bourbons your nejos your vodkas whatever guys we're gonna go inside this is a my brother recommended spot so let's go inside and check it out it's gone it's gone man that smells good here yeah. Give me like a little man cave going on. Shout out to the man cave. Area back here. So we here at We Smoke. So tell everybody what we got going on here. Well, We Smoke is a hidden gem right here in Villa Rica, 205 East Wilson Street. Great people, great vibe, great cigars. Come on in, come see us. So this is also a lounge, it's like a this where people can come here and smoke and chill, or this is like this is like a lounge, like you gotta pay to get in at a certain time. No, no fee, no cover charge. Come in, get your cigar, support us. Come lounge around, watch the movie, watch the games. We have different events here. Uh, we just had a fish fry. We did uh, steaks and sticks. We did a uh, bonfire. So just, like I said, it's a hidden gem, man. Everybody is finding out slowly but short. All right, so we in against the main, we call this, this the, the store area, Humidor. Humidor, okay. So if someone was in here and they, like we're, so we have a channel where we um, vlog and taste as black on spirits. Whiskeys, bourbons, tequila, vodkas, whatever. So if someone wanted to pair, get a cigar to pair with say like an Uncle Nears or Greenwood whiskey, what would be a good cigar to pair with a nice whiskey? Now, be honest, your of, opinion, there's your a opinion. lot of textbook answers. Yeah, so I want your right opinion, answers. bro. What's your name? You lied to the call me E. E, yeah. We, we're here with my man E. So what would be a good starter cigar? So I always ask people, do they smoke? Mm -hmm. Then I ask, how much do you smoke? Uh, so, me, I'm a Maduro smoker. I like bold, heavy smokes. So I probably would do 149 Concession, made by Precision, one of the most slept on cigars in the world, okay. but one of the best, if you ask me. Now, if you're not a smoker and trying to get into it, but you want to enjoy it with your friends, family, or whatnot, 
I would say go with the sweet profiles. And the top sellers here would be the Groovy Blue. The group. The what's called? Groovy Blue. Made by Tatiana. Tatiana. And I would say Fat Bottom Betty. Fat Bottom Betty. Yeah, this is some of the hottest name when it comes to flavored cigars. Now, what would be a good one? Uh, well, would that be the same for someone who like a uh, Nejo? Like a nice tequila, tequila Nejo, this would be the same type or this different smoking profile? I'm a tequila man. Okay. So, when I do... Man, it's so many options. So many options, so, bro. Yeah. Uh, what we got in here, man? We got, we got new arrivals. We got, oh. Uh, Hang on, uh, y'all recommended the, the McFly? When yeah. last time I was here? Yeah. yeah. Uh... But like I say, with a nice tequila, man, I probably would do uh, my father's, uh, I would say Judge. Uh, that's always a go-to, man. Um, and another one that's always a go-to, the E.P. Carrillo, the Plague. Mm -hmm. I love those with tequila, man. What about, what about a yeah. bourbon or a whiskey? Like old-fashioned, I'm just... You gotta catch the replay. He already said that. <laughs> <laughs> no, already, 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 already. They got tuned in. <laughs> <laughs> what is so, uh, so starting off, what's the proper way? Because I know my brother, he's getting into... Like, I'm with the Black Owned Spirits. He's now getting into cigars in general. you have any Black Owned Cigars in here from brands? Right now on would be... Dirty South. Oh, we said that. Okay. Well, that's just yeah, that. My brother said that's going to be Dirty South. Yeah, and if someone, someone, if someone that owns a black owned cigar company, can they like come talk to y'all about yeah, they bring oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So if y'all black owned cigar come, I know my man Jerome from uh, Miles Soleil, you got your own cigar. Come holla at you, come holla at the owners by getting your cigars in here. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, like I said, we always like to support. Uh, like I said, that's the only one we have in now, but it wasn't. Uh, months ago uh we had a uh, drunken chicken mm -hmm. that's a very popular uh, mm -hmm. name out here right now uh, so like i say man they send us samples we talk to them we like them we bring them in and you know show them what's what and go from there my man kevin scott makes you tap in here hey. so now we got so so these four are, are we good as a start off for cigars that like, this is a good starting off set yeah my yep. brother got me a human door so i got something to put him in but this is a good again now what number you smoking on but this right here is an Agrinosa Leaf uh, Maduro. Like I say, I'm a bold smoker. Okay. Uh, and what that mean, bold smoker? It's full body. So okay. it's, when you want to get it up, huh? Uh -huh. Yeah, I give you that, huh? So, and I see you don't have it clipped at the top. I see it. So it's a different way you can smoke your cigar. Most people be cutting in it. Well, this one I just did a punch. So this okay. is my first time having them. Mm -hmm. So I really want to get all of the notes, try to pick up on it. Uh, so yeah, you can do a punch, you can do a V cut, straight cut. Uh, you can go across and side to side. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I see you but yeah, like I said, I just fired it up. What what oh yeah, that's Perdomo, July 23. But I'm gonna tell you, have you tried the uh, Maduro 10th anniversary? No. That's another cigar that slept on. And when I say, I when I say beautiful, you can taste the the smaller product, this is oh, fitting. If there's anything special to it, this one is just like smoking like a black amount or something, or this is. Well, um, with that, it's very, very sweet. So like here, I say this is a cherry. So you will actually taste sure. the flavor of cherry. Is this yeah. the most uh, inexpensive one you got in here for a few days? Uh, give it one away. Yeah, well, we have some Trader Jacks on the outside. I, said, I need to get a lot of those for yeah. 50 because I got a, uh, uh, a uh, one of those uh, neat ones uh, that, that I was like 300 in there. Right, right. So I don't want people to just go in there and just you know, get on the big stuff. Yeah, yeah, get the double. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm a, I, yeah. Uh -huh. now I'm a light one. No, I want you to show me to probably do that, but. Um, What's something for ladies? I know there's a lot of big ladies group. Oh, no, I like to squeeze now. I would say this: a lot of ladies would probably get offended, right, by you looking at this wall talking about ladies smoking. Uh oh, uh oh. So I was gonna say, cause I got home. Set them straight. Set them straight. Set them straight. Ladies, ladies, I ain't talking to OG. Right, right. There's a lot of OG <laughs> smokes out here, but no, some like, ladies in here. This Don't do us. Small. Yeah, um, like I say, a lot of ladies start out with Tatiana. 
Uh, like I say, it's a talent show here, right, Tatiana? Yeah, well, all of these are talent. Just different brands, because you like I say, you got Chavin, you got Chevy, you got uh, okay, okay. You know, Groovy Blue is like a berry flavor. Mm -hmm. So a lot of them start with that. Uh, that one. Yeah, yeah, you know, so. Oh, my brother, I know his stuff. Yeah, my brother, okay. like you, like you. No, no, I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't know what that makes me soft, but like the, the, the fat bottoms and the sweet. I don't know. I like those. Yeah, I, yeah. Like, I heard you say something about crazy. Yeah, crazy yeah. yeah. Like I say, man, it's all about your crazy, man, because. Hey man, I don't judge nobody. Oh, they got some too busy to sold out. Yeah, it was the smaller factory smokes. Is there anything in here that my hand that you wouldn't try? Outside of the cheap ones. I've tried everything. Yeah. So these are good picking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I say, you just want an easy way. You just started, so I would say, um, uh, uh, yeah. But like I say, man, it's not about trial and error. What you like, what you don't like, like it's just no such thing as a bad cigar. Mm -hmm. It's a better one. So what about the, uh, I like that. You say no such thing as a bad cigar, it's a better one. See, what you got? I got me and you. We're gonna light these up here. I mean, the, the uh, cherry ones here, so you can show people the proper way to light it. And these are going to the tomato. So I think that should be good. Okay. Right. All right, y'all. So we end up getting a few cigars, and we got one. He's gonna do a demonstration on the proper way of lighting, lighting the cigar, cutting it. So we are gonna try these uh, Tatiana. Mm -hmm. So all right, man. All right. All right, so I like people to jump in kind of fast, so I'm gonna let you do this. Okay. So the smaller Tatiana's are usually already pre-cut, but it doesn't have a cap above the shoulder. So as you light it, there's a thing called toasting. So you get your flame, and you stay away from the cigar, because it's gonna heat up. So that's what you call toasting. So as you toast it, you do a 360 with it, you put it in, you light it again. So like I said, I like people to go ahead and jump in. All right, so let me go ahead and toast this thing right quick. All right, hit this, this one. Mm -hmm. You see, just enough heat on it. Just enough heat. Now, put it in your mouth. Now, don't they take the paper off? Like I say, when it comes down to cigars, man, a lot of different rules. Some people say take the band off so you won't brag about the cigar. Some people say, hey, I pay for this. I smoke how I want. So, <laughs> so the proper way is cigar. It's not like a black amount, you pour a blunt, you inhale it, swallow it, blow it out your nose. You don't do that with cigars. Cigars, you literally just inhale. Well, you can have some people who rich are here. So that's when you bring it back and come out your nose. But with the cigar, man, it's all about relax. That's the whole reason I smoke cigar. So just take your time, no rush, no race. And when you're smoking, the smoke of the cigar hitting your palate. So that would give you that nice buzz, the nice relaxation. So yeah, like I say, take your this time. This is actually man. a nice one. Yeah, it got a little, yeah. sweet, little sweet flavor to it. I ain't gonna hold your line up. Oh, who wants yeah. <laughs> Now, I also was told that you don't ever flip the, the ashes. No. Let it get long like a fingernail. Yeah, and it, then, yeah, and if you do, and you don't want to have ash on, just roll it. Just roll it like this. But I won't have that ash right now, but. Like I said, if I did have an edge, I would just roll it. Okay. And the inside. Like I said, not a cigarette, not a black, not. You know what I'm saying? Now, when do you cut it? Use one of them things over there, or when did, you said these are already pre-cut, so I don't have to do that for these. Right, right. So when, like, so how do you, or why would you cut a cigar in the front? I know you get yours, got, you, you say yours, punch. Yeah, I punch them out. Like I said, it's all about what you like. And okay, so it's a preference. Yeah, and like I said, once you get to smoking, smoke a different cigar, certain cuts may be better with certain cigars. cigars. Right. So like I said, you could do a punch, which is this. You could do a small V cut, small straight cut, large straight cut, large V cut. 
All right, me. Let me go and get them to you. Uh, roll yours, me, oh. right quick. Okay. Stay away from the cigar. Never put the cigar directly into the flame. Okay. See, I didn't know that. So I thought you were supposed to put it to the flame. So that's why you said roast it from yeah, the distance. Like okay. I say, as you saw, the heat but, just yeah. from the flame is going to toast the cigar. Okay. And then as you get ready to smoke, it up and you kill it. All right, man, you gonna roast that thing, me? Roast that thing! You grab it. You roast it. And then turn it 360, man. Turn it so you can get. No rush. Take your time. Take your time. Okay. Here you go. Okay, I can just go like this. Now you got enough one. Nah, you gonna burn that thing. Nah, just be. You gonna fry it up again if you. It ain't lit. No, it's lit. You just can't oh, keep pulling. No, it's not. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. All right, that was crazy. Say, <laughs> <laughs> take your time. No rush. No pressure here. Hey, you put the light on it now, yeah. Keep going. Puff, blow in. Don't swallow. It's not a black and mild. Blow it out. Blow in. Blow out. There you go. That's it. That's you smoke blunts back in there. I know that. <laughs> it did look like it. <laughs> All right, me. So let's go over here and, and, and post up a chill for a second, man. Just going to enjoy we smoke. Okay. All right, y'all. So now we in the lounge area. We uh, got a little nice little cigar again. Uh, look, you definitely taste a little cherry flavor. Shout out to all my cigar smokers. Shout out to the my man Greg Mason and Jason Garrett and D Garrett and my man Kevin Scott and my brother Bashir and everybody else that smokes cigars. Again, we're not really big cigar smokers, but because we do have black owned cocktails and spirits at the house, we try to pair it. And uh, shout out to Tanya for Adventure of Spirit. I know she said she was trying to get in, learn a little bit more about cigars. So there's definitely a spot. And uh, where we at, Villa Rica? Villa Rica. So, not too deep into Villa Rica. So what I like about this place, it doesn't seem like it's so like. You wouldn't think it's a cigar lounge, no, like it's not like, smoky. You could, you could tell this was a recreated like old business, a home, one of the little small, like one bathroom home or something like that. Like he's created a whole little lounge area. It looks real chill in here. It's like laid back, like you can sit in here and just kind of chill. They have a, a little lounge area in the back. Of course, all the places where you buy. You said there's a lounge area in the back? I mean, it looks like a little oh. lounge area. It's a nice little couch, like warm, yeah. warm something like that. So. And again, they said they can, they said you can post up and and watch movies and you know sip your drink and just chill and post up with a cigar. We gotta come back here with with Donovan them. Oh, can't say that. I don't think they have. They have special events. Yeah, they have special events. So I guess you have to follow them to know. Like, if you know, you know. You gotta be in the know. Yeah, 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 yeah. You if you know, you know. We here. Who you over again? This is Albano Smoke and uh, this is Maduro. Those are a couple of drones. Pretty good solid smokes. It's yeah. some everyday smokes, man. Yeah, so you're an everyday cigar smoker? I used to be, but I've been smoking for 20 years. I'm 41 now. Okay. So I started, you know, technically, in case my mama watched. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. 21. You jumped on the roof, you yeah, jumped on the porch at 21, 21 with a cigar. 21 is when I had my first cigar in the drink, you know. So, uh, yeah, man. So it was just kind of my little kickback. Okay. You know, once or twice a week, you know. I have a smoke on the deck or yeah, nice my good. favorite lounges, you know, like we smoke. You what's, your, what's your drink of choice with a cigar? I'm a bourbon guy. Okay. Yeah, so all things bourbon, man. Uh, you know, my kind of everyday, I ain't gonna say everyday. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. it's not everyday. Right, right, right. But, you know, when I do have one, you know, D.H. Taylor, or, you know, I support our own Uncle Nearest. Okay. Um, that's what we drink, Uncle Nearest, Greenwood Whiskey. Greenwood, you gotta yeah. go to Greenwood. So, you know, that's what I'm about. Oh, it's another vodka that I drink called Seven. It's black on as well. Seven. Seven. It's a really good vodka. I'm not really a vodka fan, but it's good because we own it. So I right. support the movie. Yeah. Okay. So, Speaking of black on, okay. yeah, he's playing a little safe over there. Can, can, can he tell you who he is on camera? Nah. Yeah. This is very important. Uh oh, guys. it's exclusive. It's exclusive. No, I mean, I ain't got to do all that. You know what I mean? <laughs> he gonna call me. I don't care. I'm just trying to come and have a cigar and sit down. But no, um, I founded this organization called HBCU Culture Legacy Foundation. And we promote a Battle of the Bands tour. We just had an event at State Farm Arena. Okay. Uh, back in LK weekend. Uh, we got a couple more tours and things that we're doing this year. Okay. But we use the funds, man, to keep kids in school. 
Um, started, I dropped out of school going into my senior year, so I, I started, I was in marching band, and uh, we've done about $3 million in scholarships awesome. in the last five years. But Okay, we were, we were part of the agency, you went to Stella College, so yeah. yeah okay, Alabama. Yeah, right, cool. so yeah. I can someone support you. Oh yeah, just hbcuculture.com. Hbcuculture.com. You'll yeah. see all the information in the description below. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We um, you know, this is our merch as well. This is for all of the Alabama schools. We just had Alabama State, Talladega, uh, Alabama A and M. Uh, who else we support this year? Miles College. Okay. Um, we gotta get you to Stillman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. Well, we got something special coming for Alabama. Okay. But you'll see it. You know. Yeah, so stay tuned. And what's your name? Culture. Frank Johnson. Frank Johnson. Y'all make sure y'all tap in HBCUculture.com. Support, man. We need to get more funding to HBCU. Shout out to Stephen Cog and all the other you know, HBCUs out here. Appreciate you, bro. Yes, all right, so what you order smoking on, Michelle? It's a Cameroon nub. A what? A Cameroon nub. Nub, okay. Man, I like it, man. Thank you for bring, uh, uh, showing us here, man. This might be a nice little new spot. All right, y'all. So we uh about to leave. We've been here for like uh, almost two hours just talking Look, up just with your brother Frank, and we got my man E back there. Hey, and they're talking her. She's let sister right here make custom tables for bars and stuff, man. So this is a really great vibe in here. Y'all make sure y'all come to. We smoke, man. Literally been here for like two hours. All right, guys, that's it. I hope y'all like this We Smoke Tour. No, we hope you love this We Smoke Tour. Y'all yeah, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Hit, Hit that, that notification, notification bell, that beep. So you can stay notified when we drop new content, guys. We will be back here. Yes. This may be the new chill this hangout new spot, day. guys. We love y'all. Yeah. <laughs>